So today I'm going to be uh, sh shooting some video showing an installation of uh, over the range uh, microwave. Uh, we've got a brand new uh, range coming tomorrow so I wanted to go ahead and get the uh, uh, microwave installed beforehand. Um, so just kind of show you what we have going on here. Um, this is a hole that was previous in the wall uh, from previous owners or whoever. Uh, there used to be a hood vent here over our old range. Um, and this cabinet here actually used to be level uh, with these. Um, what we decided to do is instead of cutting our uh, cabinet in half here, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, instead of cutting this cabinet in half, um, we actually just decided to move it up. Um, that way you could still utilize all the shelves and stuff. So, um, so uh, what I had to do is because the wiring, the uh, plug for the uh, over the range microwave goes up underneath through here. Uh, so I'm actually having to run some wire from here to a hole that I drilled back up in here. Uh, so the very first thing I'm going to do is uh, we need to get this thing pulled down here in just a moment. But it's back down. Uh, and this is the uh, bracket that the microwave is going to mount to. Um, I still need to get it mounted to the wall, but I've got my holes drilled so far. Um, they recommend there's four different uh, uh, holes that are supposed to be mounted on it. Um, they say that one has to be through a stud. Um, on mine, uh, three of them will actually be on studs, uh, and one is going to be used um, holding a drywall anchor bolt. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but uh, um, that's that right there. So, uh, because there's no stud behind this upper mount, uh, we're going to slide this in, pop it out. So, uh, but I've already marked my holes here. Um, all this stuff is in the directions. Your microwave is probably going to be a little bit different, but similar idea. Uh, ultimately, the top of the microwave is going to mount to this. Now they show three different sets of instructions, one for solid bottom, uh, one for uh, with a recessed shelf like this one is. Uh, this has got sides on all four edges, and then they've got one directions with just a lower front lip on the bottom of the shelf. Um, so with this particular model, I'm actually going to have to cut some blocks of wood and mount here, because um, ultimately these really long screws right here, uh, these are going to go through here, through the block of wood, and mount to the microwave, which is going to sit flush against the bottom of this, which is why we have to have those blocks of wood right there. Um, so I'm not quite to that point yet, but uh, when I get to that point, I'll show you. Um, so at this point right now, I'm just set at the point where I'm going to mount uh, the wall bracket onto the wall here. So uh, again, uh, this one has a toggle bolt. Uh, now before you put it through, you need to put it into the actual frame before you pop it through the uh, hole in the wall. I've already drilled all the holes um, that I need here, so. Actually, I'm gonna get some better light here, hold on. All right, so I'm back. I got a little bit better lighting here. Sorry, the lighting's not the greatest, and it's kind of the evening, so. Uh, so anyways, first thing we're gonna do is I've already got this bolt uh, through the frame here. I'm gonna shove it through this hole. Which they said to drill a five eighths inch hole for that toggle. It's not big enough. It needs to be bigger than a five eighths. Which I'm finding out right now. Handy dandy drill. I'm gonna make that hole a little bit bigger. Be prepared for things to get messy. Trying to tighten the screw down some before I push the bolt through that way. Got a little bit of slack I can pull on it. Alright. So now that toggle bolt is through. We'll go ahead and cinch it up some. Um, it's easiest because that uh, that toggle nut on the back side will just spin as you're spinning it. So if you actually pull on it and give it a little bit of pressure, it'll suck it in.
I didn't tighten it too much yet because I want to make sure things are still aligned. Now this thing needs to be centered in here, uh, which I had already done and marked all my holes and drilled, I pre-drilled my holes uh, um, for the lag bolts uh, that are going to go right into the studs. So I'm going to make sure to do that, that way it doesn't split the studs on the back side. Um, and I kept this up here, I'm going to pull it down as soon as uh, I get this uh, bracket mounted. Um, the reason being is uh, I went ahead and got it all level, marked out where everything's at. Um, so I want to make sure that it maintains that, that uh, level. Um, I also did the same here uh, when I mounted this up here. Um, so if this is all level, I had to kind of re-screw holes and screw it. But. So, time for the lag bolt. And there went the camera. That's what happens when you have power cords running all over. Slide bolt up on the top here. And again, I'm just wanting to make sure everything is centered properly before I tighten those down. Everything's lining up now with my holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten or my markings. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one. That way that side in. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish tightening this other side. Alright, that one's solid. Uh, so one thing, uh, this kit came with, um, again, it said one of uh, the lag bolts had to be screwed into a stud. So it came with two lag bolts and two of the uh, toggle bolts. Um, the way mine's set up, I actually need three lag bolts, so I'm going to have to go to the store and get the third one. But uh, So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and screw my other one in. Alright, so there we have it. Uh, first part's already done, short of uh, putting in that third lag bolt that I'm going to have to go uh, down to the uh, store and grab. Uh, I've got the bracket fully mounted here. Uh, next I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. This is a section, this part right here is something you guys won't have to do, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn the video off for that, uh, and I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back now. i got uh, my other toggle bolt in place. Um, so really, this part is all measured up now. I had a little screw here that I just used initially right at the center to uh, balance it and keep it in place while I do all that, so I'm going to pull that out real quick. And one last time, I'm going to double check to make sure it's still level. Perfect, right on spot. Alright, so at this point, again, I'm going to go ahead and pull that down really quick. Uh, I'm going to pause the video during that. Uh, so now i got my upper cabinet off again. You can kind of see the holes that I uh, drilled here for my wiring that's going to be coming through. Um, uh, and that's going to be for the outlet. The old hood range that was in, or the hood vent that was in here was hardwired in. Uh, this microwave uh, goes into a three-prong three -prong plug, so uh, I'm going to put it out like a box inside of the... Uh, uh, inside of the cabinet. So you can see right here I started to drill, but for some reason there's actually a 2 by 12 chunk of wood going across here between the studs. I have no idea why. 
Uh, I started to drill right there and obviously ran right into a, a big piece of wood, so I had to drill some new holes up here. So looks sloppy now, but you won't see it once the cabinets are all up. So once again, our bracket here is all mounted and in place exactly where I need it to be. Uh, use one toggle and I use three uh, uh, lag bolts. So again, those lag bolts, I had to go pick up a third one because the kit only came with two. Uh, two lag bolts, two toggle bolts. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do the wiring really quick. Uh, I won't need to. I'm not gonna record that part, so we'll do that shortly. All right. So one other thing I'm gonna show you really quick. Uh, this is actually that cabinet that was up above, uh, flipped upside down. So this is the bottom end. Uh, so um, the instructions actually come with a uh, sheet here that actually lays out on the bottom of your panel here, or the bottom of your shelving. That way you know exactly where to drill uh, your mounting holes and the hole for your uh, power cord that's gonna be going through it. Um, I don't know how you can see this, but on here they've got lines, three eighths, half inch, three quarter, one inch. Um, that's to accommodate for uh, the edges, so you can actually measure what your edges are and cut those off. That way you can mount this right exactly where it needs to be, mark all your holes and everything. It makes it pretty super simple. Now this is really important that you got that bracket that we put up on the wall exactly centered um, perfectly for this to all match up. So uh, again, that's why I went over and double checked all the uh, uh, holes and matching and level and everything to make sure all that was exactly where it needed to be. So that way once we mount all this stuff down, uh, everything will be back in the right spot again. So um, luckily I have the convenience of being able to do this on the ground. Usually what you're supposed to do is uh, cut it to wherever it's going to fit into your um, uh, the bottom of your shelf thing and you're supposed to tape it up underneath the shelf and do all this drilling and stuff from underneath the shelf. Um, I have the luxury since we are moving the cabinet to begin with uh, of actually just putting it down on the ground. So I'm going to do that part next. I need to go and cut off uh, all these edges and stuff so that I can get it mounted properly. But um, one other thing I should mention, uh, the microwave that we got. Uh, actually allows you to do um, recirculation venting, um, uh, uh, directly vertical venting, um, or out the back venting. So um, our house didn't have any plumbing for venting, so we're going to do the recirculation venting. Um, so I don't have to cut some of these holes that are on here, like this part right here, which is for roof venting. Uh, right off the top of the microwave so luckily I don't have to do all that part some of you if you're hooking it up to existing venting or you're putting venting in uh, you'll have to do some other cutting and stuff but again all that stuff's going to be in the direction so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video really quick uh, cut all the edges off of here so that it fits into this template perfectly and uh, see you shortly so here you can see I got it mounted on the bottom of my cabinet uh, again just a heads up, have fun trying to mount that thing upside down because it was a pain in the ass for me to get it even just in here straight as it was, uh, cutting all the edges and everything. So um, it's a lot easier with this being on the ground. But um, as you can see, kind of in the picture here, they're showing how you mount it from underneath. I want to make sure that the uh, there's some arrows here that's showing towards the rear wall. So this is the back of it. Um, so anyways, uh, the holes that I'm going to have to drill here, there's a half inch hole right here half inch hole over here. Um, those are for the uh, uh, the top mount bolts that are going to come through the shelf and through those blocks of wood that I'm building. Um, and then there's also one more one and a half inch hole right here that we have to drill uh, with a hole saw and that's going to be for the power cord. So I'm going to drill some holes and be back. Alright so I'm back. Uh, got my half inch holes drilled here. Uh, those are for the tabs are going to hold the uh, microwave up into place and again the one and a half inch hole here for the uh, uh, the AC plug for the uh, oven. These are the blocks that I cut. Um, mine happened to need an inch and three eighths inch or inch and three inch. Um, uh, these are just uh, some extra blocks that I had laying around so uh, they were right uh, height. Um, so I went ahead and just drilled holes in them too. So basically they're going to go right over uh, where these other holes go right there so um, so next things next I need to get this back up there and do my wiring uh, then I'll be back so we'll see you shortly alright and I'm back uh, so got some things finished here uh, I'll just kind of show you real quick what we got done I uh, got my wiring done back inside the wall I uh, got it uh, hooked up to a uh, uh, outlet that I've got up here um, 
we've got our bracketry put in. Um, uh, I'm not even going to bother patching this hole. That hole was already there when uh, I tore out the old hood vent, so um, no point in covering it up at this point, honestly. It's not going to bother me. Um, so up here, these are the uh, bolts that are going to go in, um, that are going to screw in through the top of the microwave. Um, I'm just going to hang one of these here really quick uh, show you. So this right here is why uh, we have to use the wood block because um, that's going to sit up in there flush so that the uh, microwave sits flush with the shelf uh, above and the edge here. So uh, that's why these are going to go there. Um, these lips right here, uh, the microwave is going to, um, we're going to angle it set the bottom on there and then tilt it forward and then put these screws in from underneath so uh, that's how we're going to attempt to try to do that plus at the same time we're going to have to try to route that uh, power cable up through here so it's going to be the next step here uh, i'll be right back hopefully with a microwave in hand so one more thing i should mention uh, they recommend in the instructions have two people do this part of the job um, uh, just because safety and back and everything. Uh, I'm going to do this by myself. The microwave doesn't really weigh that much. I'm going to attempt to do it by myself anyway. Uh, the other advantage is that I've pulled the oven out, so it's not like I'm having to reach over and put all that strain on my back. Um, I'll be able to hold it right here, standing straight up with my back uh, solid. So, uh, so anyways, I'm going to try uh, putting this in here myself, and we'll see how that goes. See you in a couple. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try giving this a shot, see if I can't get this thing on here by myself. So. Tight fit. There we go, the back's hooked on. I'll pull that power cable the rest of the way through. Like so. So now what I need to do, however, get my wood blocks lined up. So I'm just gonna set that on my knee for right now. Again, these are those uh, pot melt bolts. Just gonna hang that one there. Hang that one there. Let's see how these line up. There's one going. Started. There's the other one started. They're self aligning, um, so they've got some play to them. So this really isn't too bad right here. I'm just kind of supporting it with my leg and getting these screwed in here. Just going to test support here. So that's hanging on its own right now. However, I do need to tighten these up. So. my kids screaming in the background. Not screaming, but... 
<laughs> and of course, <laughs> my screwdriver is too tall to clear the shelf. I'm going to tighten these up a little bit more. And go get a shorter screwdriver. So in the meantime, though, that is solid. I'll be right back. All right, back with a stubby uh, screwdriver here so I can kind of get this a little better. Everything looks good. Need to plug it in really quick to make sure power's working. Boom. We've got power. Lights working underneath. Fans working. By George, I think we have a uh, over the range uh, microwave installed, ready to go. Thanks for watching guys. Hope that helps you out some. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to leave comments. Uh, like the video give me a thumbs up thanks guys uh, so one other quick update I just wanted to show you on up here um, you can see where I mounted uh, my uh, outlet for it um, there's actually room underneath on mine uh, because mine wasn't flat level that I could shove all the extra hose back into here so um, I also went I don't know if you can see this I actually put spacers on these. I went back uh, just because the original holes that I drilled, because I drilled them from the underside, it kind of busted out part of the top, as you can kind of see right here. I made uh, it chipped away just because it's cheaper wood. Um, so, just to be on the safer side, since the weight of this is resting right here, I went ahead and uh, pulled these back out and put some washers on there. So, if anybody's uh, having a similar issue or worried about it, uh, just put some bigger washers on there. So, uh, anyways, tell them to put our, we'll get our new uh, oven in, or range in tomorrow, so we'll put it in there then, but, uh, yeah, there she is, everything worked great, hope that helps, thanks guys.